On the first anniversary of the late Queen's death, King Charles speaks of his mother's life of devoted service. I'm now at six minutes past six. Sarah has more news for you now. Well, on the first anniversary of the death of Queen Elizabeth II, King Charles has paid tribute to his mother's devoted service. Our correspondent, Rebecca Curran, joins us now from Balmoral, where the King is spending this week. Uh, good morning to you, Rebecca. And as it was this time last year, the focus on Balmoral, this beautiful part of the country, which was so important to the late Queen. Indeed it was, and this is the very place where the late Queen Elizabeth II spent her final days. Balmoral Castle, a place that she's known to have loved, a place where she's said to have been at her happiest. And this is where King Charles will spend the day, we're told, quietly reflecting not only on his mother's death, but his own accession to the throne one year ago today. Now, there will be no ceremonial events today. There will be a gun salutes at Edinburgh Castle, Hyde Park and the Tower of London. But the King has paid tribute to his late mother. He's released a photograph said to be one of his favourites. In it, she's smiling, um, perhaps the way he would like us to remember his mother today. And alongside the photograph, he's released a message which was recorded here at Balmoral Castle. We recall with great affection her long life, devoted service and all she meant to so many of us. I am deeply grateful too for the love and support that has been shown to my wife and myself during this year as we do our utmost to be of service to you all. Now, already some floral tributes have been left at the gates of the castle behind me. We are expecting the king and queen to leave the castle today and make the short trip to Craffy Kirk for a private service where they will take part in memorial prayers. They'll be joined by a small group from Balmoral Castle. Uh, we know that the Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate, will attend a similar service at St David's Cathedral in Wales. And the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, he has arrived back in the UK. He paid tribute to his late grandmother last night saying she will be looking down on us all but no official family gathering today we're told they will be remarking the day uh, quietly and privately thank you to rebecca well as rebecca was saying and thank you to rebecca there now the scottish government says the lightweight concrete rack has been found in 40 schools Thousands of pupils in England have been told to stay at home this week because of the issue. 